Now we learn how to draw orthographic projections by referring given 3D pictorial view. Such type of the pictorial view is given. By referring this, draw the front view, then draw the side view, especially left hand side view. And by observing from top side, draw the top view. For this, use the first angle method of projection. Just build up your imagination by referring given 3D model. This 3D model is revolved. Throughout whole directions, so that our imagination will build up and we'll imagine how its front view, top view, and side view will appear. Just the imagination is developed by looking this pictorial view through different positions now we have to draw front view exactly its below will be the top view and to the right side of a front view frame we have to place left hand side view by careful observation trace out its three basic dimensions length height and width which will be the 80 80 and 60 millimeter respectively while drawing these frames use construction lines means the lines should be very faint for this we can use the 2H pencil. Now we have to draw or construct a frame for front view of which the dimensions are length is a 80 millimeter and height is a 80 millimeter. Exactly it's below by leaving the gap of a 20 millimeter draw the frame for top view of which the dimension length is a 80 millimeter and width is a 60 millimeter draw the frame for left hand side view of which the width is a 60 millimeter and height is a 80 millimeter Now we will start to draw the front view. For this first draw a circle by taking this center point and the radius of a 30 millimeter. Draw this line of a 50 millimeter height. Draw this line of a 80 millimeter height. Join at bottom having dimension of a length 15 millimeter draw this line of a 30 millimeter and now draw inclined line which will join these two points now this yellow color surface which will observe in front you are uh, drawn in this way now hidden portion so mark the point of a 20 millimeter depth and passing through this dot dotted line which will indicate the hidden portion draw the center line now we have to draw the top view for this draw the projection line with the help of a front view so all these projection lines are drawn in a very faint manner 
Now we'll try to draw the rectangular slot of which the width is 8 millimeter, length is not given. So for this take the help of a front view, draw the projections and complete this rectangle of which the width is 8 millimeter. Now draw this line of a 30 millimeter and draw this length of a 40 millimeter. Draw this line, this line of a 15 millimeter length, which are a width, and let's complete this T shape, which we'll observe in top view. Now target. To draw this blue color surface which are in rectangular in nature now draw this hidden surface by dotted lines with a semi circular drilled hole which is not visible in top view shown by dotted lines now take the projections from front view to draw the side view similarly we have to take also the projections from top view now to shift these projections from top view to front view take the help of the compass shift all these points in side view this all projections taken from the front view as well as top view will help us to draw side view the first target to draw this green color surface of which width is a 30 millimeter and height is a 50 millimeter so draw this rectangle now we'll try to draw this rectangular slot of a width 8 millimeter and a height 20 millimeter now next we have to draw uh, this red color rectangular surfaces of which uh, width is a 15 millimeter height is directly not given it can be traced out or located by using the front tube So this is height of that red color surface. For this we are taking the assistance of uh, projections which are taken from front view. Thus the T surface is uh, constructed. Now we have to show the bottom portion which is a semi cylindrical in nature some part is not visible so it is represented by dotted line now give the dimensions use the align dimension system these are vertical dimensions in which the dimension is a place to the left side so that it can be read from right direction now place these dimensions in a horizontal manner draw these horizontal dimension line draw arrow of a uniform size place this as a 30 millimeter and remaining dimensions this width is of a 30 millimeter which we are showing in top view
is the radius dimensions draw the leader line passing through the center point place the dimension as r30 is which will indicate the radius is of a 30 millimeter show the depth of the slot which is of a 20 millimeter thus our final drawing will like as this control the line thickness darkness by handling pencils